Division 4 now, and Miller City finally got over that Elida hump, winning last week's district tournament at Ed Sandy Field as Ross Lehman, thanks to several strong defensive plays behind him, threw a no-hitter in the 1-0 win over Columbus Grove in the title game. PCL champs back in action in today's regional semifinal in Hamler. Toledo Christian, the opponent for Miller City. Kyle Kempton at the dish, hits a chopper down the third baseline. Judd Nearhood caught in a rundown, trying to score. Hunter Burner turns on the Jets, applies the tag to Nearhood for the out. Brings the Wildcat crowd to its feet. Heidelberg signee Jordan Addisey hits a pop fly in the left field. Jacob Kuhlman makes the grab. Kempton comes in to score on the sacrifice fly. Toledo Christian on the board first, one to nothing. Jackson Lommers replaces Ross Lehman on the mound after just one inning. And the pass ball by Lommers allows Austin Shane to score from third base, extends that Toledo Christian lead to three to nothing in the bottom of the second inning. Inning comes to a close as Lommers gets near hood looking. So still three to nothing after two. Ross Lehman gonna change that though. Crushes this pitch into left center, clears the fence, a solo home run. As the Wildcats bats start coming to life. Three to one now. Corbin Neese, crowd loving that home run. Corbin Neese at the plate, liner in the left field. It's a hit, Jeremy Ball, but come on in. You're gonna score, Lommers scores from second. Two runs, single, we're tied up at three apiece in the bottom of the third. As Neese advances to second, Dremel Smith at the plate, pops it to left field, catch is made for the out. Hunter Burner tags up and scores from third. This would put Miller City ahead, six to five. And Lommers adds to the offensive explosion. Hits this pitch into the gap in left center. Lehman scores, Logan Dukes crosses the plate. Balba does as well. Triple for Lommers, it clears the bases. It's a six run inning for the blue and gold. And Lommers caps the game off by striking out. Addisey, final score, 13 to seven. Miller City victorious. They'll play for a regional championship tomorrow night. He's on him in the first inning. We hit a ball hard, a couple balls hard maybe, and and we we had a good feeling that you know they'd start falling, and uh, you know he he lost control a little bit there um, to give us our first big inning, and then we we had a key couple key timely hits, which which was important. Yeah, that hit was big, but after that, people started getting hit. Usually, it just takes that one hit for us. We get that one hit, then we get going, and uh, yeah, the bats were good today. Defense was really good today too. We need we need to we need to have the same type of defensive and pitching effort that we got in the district finals. You know, Hicksville's an outstanding team. They're by far the, the fastest team that, that I've probably coached against in seven years. So we're gonna have to be on our toes on defense. Um, pitchers are gonna have to do a good job trying to keep runners close and, and obviously scoring thirteen runs would help. 